Let's bring in Jerome Bettis, a former Steeler running back. Do you fill out a bracket, Bus? I, I, I haven't yet. Well, wait. I plan to. Okay, but you don't have that much time. I know. I got one day. I got another day. No, 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 no. no. It has to be done today. The games start today. They start today? Okay, well, oh, I'll, I'll have it in. I will have one in. I'm, I'm, I've been formulating my ideas and looking <laughs> at my upsets. You know, the key is to find your upsets. You know what? The key is not to think too much, Bus. <laughs> well, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, I know. I'm very good at that. <laughs> All right. Now, now, help me with this new rule here. You being a, a former running back, do you understand what this new rule is about leading with the crown of your helmet? I understand. I understand the rule. The problem is, as a running back, there's so many different variables. I don't know when I'm inside the tackle box. You know, I... I I'm running the football. I've got to count off three yards inside the tackle house. You know, it's too much uh, for a running back because now I'm thinking in my head, do I need to be uh, upright? Can I, can, I tuck, can I cover up the ball? All those things are going through the running back's head, and he's still got to run the football. So if you want me to protect the football and run hard, then my head is going to be down at some point because it's a physical game. If my head's not down, I'm getting hit. Could you change your running style if you were playing this season after hearing what this rule is? I wouldn't because the problem is you start to change your running style, you become tentative as a running back. And we all know when you get tentative, they say, oh, he's tiptoeing, you know, in the hole and all those type of things. So it, it, it becomes a negative for the running back. So you just got to, you know, hey, take your punishment. And they say it's for that one time a game. So just give me the penalty and I'll live with it. You know, that's that's my philosophy. That's the way I would look at it. But is this more for protecting the running back from himself or protecting the defensive player who's trying to tackle the running back? I, I, I tell you, I think this was a knee-jerk decision based on the playoff games when the Patriots were playing uh, – the Ravens and uh, I think Ridley um, got hit by Pollard and got knocked out of the game. And they're thinking, well, maybe if we can get the running back to keep his head up, then he won't get the concussion. Yeah, he won't get the concussion, but he'll get his ribs broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, it, it's it, it won't change it won't change the nature of the game. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to cause a lot of tentativeness. Uh, and, and more importantly, what it's going to do is it's going to cause the next generation of kids to change the channel. Because you got to think now, they're already not playing um, you know, middle school football. They're already not playing high school football because of the concussions. And now you're changing the game. So now from a viewer standpoint, you don't want to watch it. You're watering it down. The next generation is going to start to change the channel. Talking to Jerome Bettis, former Steeler running back, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. It just uh, the Bears uh, getting rid of Brian Urlacher. It, you know, it, it comes a time with everybody who plays, no matter how great you are, that eventually it, you could be a salary cap casualty. Do you think Urlacher still has any run in his game? You know, that's the difficult. Uh, the, that's a difficult question. Uh, I think the problem here is he's been he's been injured. He's, you know, he's, his career, he's been injury prone. So, you know, can I invest a lot of dollars in him and expect him at his age to be there for me 16 weeks? The, the answer would probably be no. Um, but, you know, is he one of those players that you want to have on your team? The answer is yes. So you got to try to figure out uh, a happy medium. You know, I think the Bears could have handled the situation a lot better. Uh, they could have handled handled it with a lot of respect in the sense that they tell uh, Brian, hey, Brian, all we have is $2 million for you, but we, we want you to retire a Bear. We, we think, you know, you're, you're a, a Bear for life, that kind of thing. And you, you explain to them financially, this is all we can do. But we want you here, and I don't. I don't think that was uh, 
were, was told to to Brian in, in that way. And I think when you have a player of this caliber that's meant so much to the franchise and to a city, I think you treat him with a little bit more respect than that. What about Ed Reed to the Texans? Ed, I, I think Ed has a little bit more tread uh, than Brian does. Uh, I think that's a good pickup. Uh, and for for two reasons. One, you know, he's a great football player. But two, that Houston Texans team, they need a jolt of confidence. You know, here's a team that, you know, they – they play well in the regular season. Late in the season, they start to fall apart. In the playoffs, uh, you know, they can they can maybe win a wild card game, and that's the end of it. But I think they don't play with a lot of confidence. And I think if you bring a guy like Ed Reed in, who's done it uh, at every level, uh, now he is a Super Bowl champion, I think he brings a lot of confidence to that football team. And I think it can, can ultimately change the culture uh there in Houston. Celebrating the uh, 25th anniversary, uh, EA Sports Madden 25 cover, Jerome Bettis among the candidates with a chance to appear on it. He's uh, They got their brackets there. Uh, he's up against Curtis Martin in the first round. Bus needs your love. He needs your help. Uh, hashtag Madden 25 Bettis so he can move on and uh, and dust off Curtis Martin. Right? Yeah, he was. I, I believe I, I believe I beat Curtis, and now I think I'm I'm on to the number one seed, which is Montana. Oh boy! And that's the challenge. All right. But you know what? Hey, this is upset season. <laughs> we, you know, we got the brackets going. This is what it's all about. It's okay. about the little guy. Okay. It's about the little guy. You know, I, I, got, I got a shot. All right. Uh, the hashtag is uh, Madden Twenty Five Bettis. As uh, Jerome, a 16 seed, going up up against uh, Joe Montana, number one seed. <laughs> I got a chance. That's all I'm saying. All right, fill out your bracket. All right. Uh, I'm filling it out. I'm sending it over. All right, thank you, Bussy. Right, it's uh, Jerome Bettis, former Steeler running back. Yeah, I got a day to fill him out. No, you don't. <laughs>